Bobby Baby Walker. Hello, it's Renee Marie from um, Stroke of Luck, uh, and Madhouse TV, and, and Bobby Baby Walker. Bobby Baby Walker. We're so happy to have this platform, as I said uh, two weeks ago, to be able to bring stroke awareness and aphasia awareness and to spread some love. And uh, actually, that's the theme of our roundtable discussion today. What is it? Um, pure, pure love. love. Pure, pure love. love. Awesome, awesome. We um, were really, first, I want to thank everyone, right, Bobby? We want to thank everyone for, for the support. In, for the support, for all the emails and uh, for viewing us. Thank you very much. It is. We have been so honored at the outpouring of, um, of contacts and individuals and, um, and just outpouring of love that has really filtered towards us. And uh, so we want to thank you for tuning in, whether it was on Madhouse TV or whether it was on uh, YouTube or the short clips we have. And we're really, really honored. It really is a privilege to have this platform and to be able to, um, to spread a little love. You know? Yeah, I just want to say I, I like the way you think on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think on my feet only because, yeah, yeah. you know what, Bobby, I think the gift that we bring to people is we speak from our heart. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Uh, I think that makes a huge difference. You really don't have to um, worry program to it. program. Yeah. I mean, I, we do have to do our programming mm -hmm. for the, the, the show, but actually we just speak from our heart and we mm -hmm. make it live. And we actually... Hope that you will connect with us more um, deeply and maybe send us your, your um, added comments. We got a lot of comments right. last time. And suggestions, suggestions. are always welcome. Yep. We Can actually, I? I'm sorry, Bobby. I, I think on, on Madhouse TV, they can place their comments, right, Tommy? Madhouse TV, they can place their comments for the show. Yes. Yep. Yes. That's a great thing. So go to okay. Madhouse TV, click on my face, and you can place your comments for the show. Okay. And I just want to recap on the last show that I had. Oh, I forgot. Let's go. Um, we worked on the beat and how the beat relates to putting music together. And next show is going to continue that. And we're going to work on the scale and how the scale relates to um, sight reading. And the that should be interesting. scale relates to sight reading. Right. Explain that to me a little bit. The music scale, do, okay. re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, and we're going to put different uh, notes of the scale into the beat. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I look forward to, I got to share with you, Bobby's been trying forever to teach me. Now he's got me as a captured audience. <laughs> um, okay, so I look so, forward to it. That's yeah. good. I, I want to say we've had an awesome three weeks. This is our fourth week. Absolutely. On the uh, show. We're going strong. We're Keep going those strong. emails Woo! coming. <laughs> yes, so buddy. Um, today's, uh, I, I said on my um, show that I'm going to um, designate each show in appreciation for someone or something. And, of course, the first one was God mm -hmm. because we have to have the main base and you got to put God before everything else and everything else will fall into place. Mm -hmm. um, but this is for my two girls. Brittany and Samantha, okay. this show, for my two girls, and of course, my Dan, Danny and Mike, Mikey, my niece and my nephew, who are like my kids. So for the four kids in my life, uh, they're, they're dear to me, and they're what keeps me going and motivated. Right. So. And I like to dedicate the, uh, my show to uh, a gentleman that, unfortunately, uh, I grew up with, and he passed last week, and his name was Cheo Feliciano. Ah. Uh, he did uh, To Be With You with the Joe Cuba Sextet. Wow. And wow. And I'd like to dedicate my show to him. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. We're going to give you a quick rundown on what today's show is going to bring. Um, we have um, Bob Zombrowski. He, we spoke about him last year from, uh, last year, last Judy's week run. from Judy's Run. He actually just called me today um, to let me know he can make it on the show. Um, Bob's schedule is really tight because he's running a marathon, plus he is such a dedicated caretaker to his wife um, that it's unbelievable. So you'll really, really enjoy the conversation that he has. And of course we got Joe and we got some magical stuff to talk about our friend Joe who um, actually is a part of our team now. Don't say it too loud, but he's a part of our team, the, the Stroke of Luck team, the uh, 
TV uh, yes. show. He's yes. on the team. He's going to be here every week, every, every other week while I'm here. Um, let's see. Bob's going to be talking about his wife, Judy, who had the stroke. We're going to touch on uh, Mark McEwen, um, how we connected, the circle of life, how people connected, right. and uh, how Bob brought Joe into our lives. Right? right? Yeah. Um, actually, um, I... It's the other Bob, right? The other Bob, not not <laughs> Bob Zombrowski. Not well. Th it's funny because the trail, right. you know, it's, the connections. It's kind of like a, a, a little circle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's almost like the Celestine prophecies. You know, you have to do this to get there, to do this to get there. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. pretty awesome. Um, I actually um, I have someone to share with you. Her name is Karen Noe. She. Uh, do you remember Karen? Yes, I do. Um, we met at your book signing. Ah, my kickoff book signing. Your kickoff book signing. June 6th. Yes. It was a rockin' time. Yes, it, was, it was. It was yes, good. It was, it was good. Was very good. Yeah, actually, let me get, I have a book here. Karen just put out a new book called Your Life After Their Death. And um, I'll let you look into that really quick. And while that's, uh, the, Tommy's showing that to you really close, I'll tell you a little blurb about Karen and myself. Um, a, a few years ago, you gonna hold that? Yeah, a few know. years ago, um, I was in a really bad place. My brain was scrambled. I had, my emotions were all over the place, which we'll talk about later on about strokes and emotions. And um, at, that's and um, I forgot what that's saying. Anyway, so so a long time ago, I was in a really bad place because of my strokes and, and emotions. And my mom was with me. And she said, let's go to Barnes & Noble. She wanted to get me out of the house. I was in, in the back of her car. I was crying all the way to Barnes & Nobles. And I get to Barnes & Nobles, and you know how big Barnes & Nobles is, right? Barnes & Nobles has millions yes. of books in there. Yes. And I um, walked right to Karen's book. I picked it up, and I said to my mom, says, what are you doing with that book? I says, well, I'm going to buy it, I guess, because this is the book I picked up, and I don't know why I want to buy it. To make a long story short, I buy it, I get in the car, and I'm in another world, and I look on the back of the book, and it says Ramsey, New Jersey. And I said, Ramsey, New Jersey? I said, um, I have to contact her. Well, I contacted her. She emailed me back within minutes, and uh, we've been friends ever since. And when Karen did my kickoff book signing with, with us, and, um, and right before my book signing in, during the day, in the morning, um, I called my dad's wife, and she said to me, um, oh, I found an envelope of your dad's from, that you wrote to your dad. Uh, you, and I said, oh, 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 open it up. And she said to me, um, she opens it up, and the first line in it was, I'm very proud of you tonight, which was a, my father speaking to me, telling me how proud he was of me doing my kickoff book signing and really of the, of the stroke of luck that I wrote because... Um, and was really proud of me. And, 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 and my father is a, 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 a guardian angel from heaven because um, he actually passed on April 8th, the same day that I had my stroke. So if there was, and it was Easter morning. So he rose up to heaven with Jesus, and he really was a significant mark in my life for me to keep pushing to do what I need to do. So it was significant. So Karen put that story in this book. I haven't found it because I was, it just came out, just got released. And when I was on my way in, mm -hmm. I picked this up so that I could physically show it to you. Mm -hmm. And then I believe, what's the date, Bobby, that she wants it? She'll, it's April 29th. It's April Wednesday, 29th, April 29th. Right. She's having um, a, a, gal, you know, a grand um, purchasing. And she would like you to go to Amazon on April 29th, Wednesday, to buy this book from Amazon. They're having... Um, like a kickoff book purchase and we really 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 would love if you join in and and support Karen because yeah. she is angelic yeah, right absolutely. don't you remember absolutely she is really really so good get on your uh, computers and get the book right get the, the book. book is your life after their death and uh, it's wonderful yeah. so um, okay so we're we're going to go right into Bobby Baby Walker is going to be singing in uh, a minute or two. I'll take this from you so that you don't have to hold this, and I'll put it here. And, um, and the reason that we always want to have music in every show, and Bobby and I will be singing throughout each show, and, um, and we'll have other artists singing also. There's a friend of mine, uh, Tracy, that will be coming, 
and she's going to be singing in one show is because music is a language of love Absolutely. and music music puts us in a different world for us to be able to enjoy life through music and it is phenomenal so bobby you got your mic and okay. you ready to rock I'm and roll ready ready we ready to set them up absolutely okay here's bobby baby walker singing i believe in you and me All right. Hello. Hello. All right. I believe in you and me, I believe that we will be in love eternally, as far as I can see, you will always be the one for me, oh yes you I believe in dreams again I believe that love will never end And like the river finds the sea I was lost Can't you see? I believe in you I will never leave your side I will never, never, never hurt your pride When the chips are down You know I'll always be around Just to be right where you are My love Oh, I love you, girl I will never leave you out I will always let you in To places no one's ever Maybe I'm a fool to feel the way I do But I would play the fool forever Just to be with you forever I believe in miracles Love's a miracle And maybe your dream come true I believe in you and me. I was lost, now I'm free, girl. I believe in you and me. We'll be right back with the round table.
Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville. I run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to pr improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1 Entertainment. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing.
Welcome back to Renee Marie Stroke of Luck uh, with host Baby Bobby, Bobby Baby Walker, Baby Bobby Walker, Bobby Baby Walker, something like Bobby. that, right? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm really, really happy to um, have this uh, platform to have a roundtable discussion with uh, some of my guests. Um, but before I do, I want to, I've learned in life when you haven't finished something, you can always go back and follow up on what you forgot to say. So when I was talking about Karen before, I actually forgot to say what she did, right? We, did we say she was a medium? Mm -hmm. So she, Karen is a medium, um, and she's actually going to be on our show um, talking about, um, you know, the, the um, connection to the other side and, and actually how to better your life while you're still here on Earth. So that's what the uh, book is about. It gives you some, um, some um, instructions on how to live a really wonderful free life so I, I look forward to it anyway so while while I have you um, I would like to introduce to um, to my left my right my left my right right I'm a little cracked up today <laughs> to my right is Bob Zombrowski Bob is the um, gentleman who uh, actually couldn't make the phone call on my last show which we got him here in person last minute. It was awesome. That's why I didn't wasn't yeah, able to uh, put it out to the PR too much. But welcome to the show, Thank Bob. You. We're Thank really so honored. We're Thank really you. honored. Um, and of course, we have Joe back. Yay! <laughs> Joe is uh, Joe has joined our Stroke of Luck. Absolutely, team. and it's a privilege and an honor. Oh, thank you, thank you. We're we're really we're privileged and honored, and we'll talk about the connection of how all these men came into my life. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. And like I said before, it's almost like the Celestine prophecies. You had to be here to connect to there, to connect. And of course, there's baby Bobby Walker. Let's hear it for everyone. Yeah, Woo! Okay. So, um, God, let's get right to it because we have a lot, a lot of, a lot of information. Um, I know last week we spoke about, uh, two weeks ago, we spoke to Joe about your nine um, strokes and yes. give us a brief, just a brief recaps for those that um, that um, weren't in. weren't tuned in last time. Okay, 2007, I was rear-ended in a car accident. I hit my head to the on the uh, side window, uh, caused a severe brain hemorrhage, which then led to nine blood clots, which caused nine wow. different strokes on the left side of the brain. Wow. Now that's how you met Bob. Tell us how you met Bob, and then we'll let Bob. Bob and myself, we have the same doctor. Ah, Bob, Bob or Bob's wife? Bob. Bob, okay. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> Bob obviously was in there speaking with the doctor and mentioned about the, um, strokes, and the strokes and Judy, Judy's yeah. run. Yeah. And then I could say his name, Dr. Fishberger went and said that, uh, okay, he said, you know, I got this guy, he does a lot of work at the hospitals, he's on these committees, blah, blah, blah. Here's his number. Wow. And the next thing I know, I got a phone call from Bob, and wow. that was How long ago? a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's going to wow. be close to two years now. Wow. At least. Yeah. Wow, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you told us all the things you're involved with last time. Bob, we want to, we, tell us a little bit about how, about your story. Tell us a little bit about how Judy's run became. I know it was your wife, Judy, but tell us a little bit of how it happened to her and um, uh, a little story. Uh, 2005, Judy had a stroke. Uh, come out of nowhere. We were having dinner. She fell down on her knee, got up, walked to the ambulance, went to Stony Brook, was ambulatory. Wow. And at that time, none of the hospitals were stroke centers. So that three-hour window collapsed. And I saw a heck on Jekyll and almost lost her. She wow. was there for, I guess, two months and then um, went to St. John and then to Nesconsa. But I'm a runner. I've been a runner for a long time. And I said, what can I do? So I said, why don't I start a run? <coughs> so me and my co-founder, Al John, started a run at, at Kings Park Sunken Meadow. And we had 34 runners in the cold rain in October. Wow. wow. So it has evolved now into our seventh one coming up on May 18th, which I'm really looking forward to to almost 200 runners. Wow, wow. Janine, can you show Bob's flyer on the screen for a second? Would that be possible? Yes, thank you. Great. Yes. So talk about, the, talk <clears throat> about it while she's got it up on sure. the screen. Sure. This is our, our seventh annual Judy's Run. It's a new location. We've moved to Nesconsa <laughs> Gazebo, everybody. 
please come, support it, run, walk, say hello. Uh, it is a road race, it's a 5K. I give you a great t-shirt. Uh, you can meet some great, great people like Joe and Renee and Stroke Survivors. It's May 18th, Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Registration opens at 7.30. I should be there before the sun comes up. Uh -huh. It's almost mm -hmm. like, you know, when that happens, it's almost like, like I, when I speak of Stroke Survivors, I talk to my family. It's almost like you're a family. All of a sudden, you have this new family that you're involved with, and every year they come and they support you. Absolutely. You know, because, and yeah. they do it because they love you and they, yeah. they, want, they want your support. Absolutely. You know? It's a good feeling. Yeah. So, um, so that's, that's pretty interesting. So, um, and actually, when we met, that's how Mark McEwen, that I met Mark McEwen, because at the, um, the car show, right? The car yeah, show, right. Bobby. It was the car show. Uh, my friend uh, Michelangelo, who was here uh, several weeks ago, he uh, asked me to come and perform at the car show. So I was talking to Renee about it, and Renee said, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, I, I can't I go? She said, I'm going. <clears throat> yes. So we all went to the car show, and that's where I met Bob and um, Mark McEwen, mm -hmm. and uh, Renee met Mark. And, uh, he is. He, what, what an phenomenal. inspiration. What a phenomenal. Guy. What an inspiration. I mean, yes. just, just. I get chills. Yeah, I do too. I do too. So, um, Janine, can you put up on the screen, I think we have a photo of myself and Mark and everybody and Mark, right? If you can. It's pretty awesome the way the connections. Mark McEwen is such a, an inspiration. He really is really okay. leading the way in stroke awareness mm -hmm. um, and aphasia awareness because Mark has aphasia. Mark speaks slowly now. Um, I don't, I haven't spoken, I mean, I don't know him well enough to say that mm -hmm. what's going on with him in his brain, um, but by the way he speaks, and we spoke about uh, aphasia being a really um, support. Did, did she, did she yeah, show that? Sure. Yeah? Oh, good, good. So, um, you should, she showed the two photos? That was um, Mark and myself and uh, everyone and Mark, I believe. Um, so it was good. It was good. Yes, it was. Um, so, Mark, uh, Bob, tell us, um, <clears throat> tell us, tell us a little bit more about your wife, because she, because she is, she's the inspiration behind this. And I got to tell you, I'm jealous. I'm jealous because I hope in my life someone loves me as much as you love your wife. Don't do that to me. No, I'm just saying because <laughs> because you're such you're such an angel. You're such an angel. You really do <clears throat> care for her. The way we all care about each other, but, but mm -hmm. you really, really do care about her. So just tell us a little bit about her. Sure. Uh, my wife, I've been married, we've been married 48 years. Uh, she's, she's been my sole inspiration, my heart, you know, for everything I do. And uh, she's uh, having great days. She's at Nest Concert. She's been there for seven years. She can speak. She's right-handed. She's eating well. Wow. It was a major, major stroke. Wow. And I was told by Stony Brook after about a year or so after that, they almost lost her twice. Her blood pressure was triple on both wow. sides. Well, you know, it's funny that you talk about blood pressure because I, I said this to you, Joe. Yes. Actually, on July 5th, Saturday, July 5th, um, I just booked a friend of mine, and he, he came to me. Um, and he said, oh, I didn't know you were doing the show. And he says he sits down by me and he tells me the story about his brother. He, his brother, seven years ago, and I don't want to tell the whole story, but seven years ago had a stroke because of high blood pressure. And that's all I'm going to say because tune in June 5th, July 5th because he's going to tell his story. And it really is going to make people really conscious sure. of, of, what simple things, you know, when people say I got high blood pressure, you <clears throat> never attach that to having a stroke yep. or mm -hmm. other illnesses, you know. Um, but but um, I, know, I know that that high blood pressure, my dad always had high blood pressure, and I never knew yeah. that yeah. it was, you know, you can have a stroke. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can have a stroke, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So we're going to go to break, I believe, and uh, we'll come back. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. We'll come right back and we'll talk to my wonderful guests and my whole co-host, Bobby Baby Walker. See you in a few.
YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. My name is Dr. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multi Medicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multi Medicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel, we treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over 15 years. We do a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Okay, we're back. Um, I really want to thank uh, the Madhouse TV team for uh, allowing on this platform. It really is an honor to um, be able to touch the world with stroke and aphasia awareness. Um, and I really want to thank my guests today. I always like to thank before we begin. It's almost like the secret, you know, you have to give thanks before you, you, um, you, lay, the, you lay the groundwork, you know? So it, it, it's good. You know, on, uh, I think, when I was sitting back and I was thinking of a topic for this show, Joe and I were talking, and since we're stroke survivors, I thought it would be pretty awesome to talk about pure love. And correct me if you think I'm right, Joe. Um, I think that I asked, what is one of the prime necessities to stroke recovery? And I really believe that it's pure love that you need everything else, you need everything else, you need, you need the doctors, you need the medicine, you need the, um, the therapy, no, okay. you need everything. But before you, the, the prime necessity is pure love. It's pure love because you need that connection with somebody, you need to have a reason to, to, do, it, to do it, right? You need mm -hmm. to understand, you need, you're so, your brain is so scrambled. Totally scrambled, and you need the support, a strong support team, whether it be family, friends, a spouse, whatever. That's very important. That gives you the motivation to push forward. Right. And right. again, it goes back to love, and it goes back to faith. Yeah, it does go back to faith. So, God, it, God is the, the, the basis for absolutely. love. Absolutely. You know, um, so, yes, yeah, so I, I really believe, um, and, and in another show, I'm going to have... Um, the person that defragmented my brain, and his name is Dominic Cordalesa. He, um, 
he really took the time and understood that I need I needed to do the work I needed to do the work um, but he kind of guided me and led me in the direction to make it possible right nobody else could nobody else did that in my life they all they all loved me but they didn't know how to do it and of course he did it because he was a marine uh, he knows discipline and he also uh, worked for city corp so he was a you know an, an instrument in everybody's life around the world when he when he was working but um but he really did make a difference and defragment my brain i i like to talk in in common terms, you know, that's not a medical term to yeah. defragment, but everybody knows about defragmenting a computer, right? Uh, right. So, yep. so uh, you know, I was, I think I was, think I was right. So absolutely. Um, Bob, I know that you wanted to share. Oh, someone's call someone's calling us. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Renee Marie. Stroke of luck. Hello, Renee Marie. This is Fulvio Cesare. Hi, Fu. How you doing? Good. Fulvio Cesare is a board member of uh, the Language of Love Foundation. Hi, Fu. Fu, where are you now? I'm in beautiful British Columbia uh, in Vancouver. Oh, oh wow. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take a nice <laughs> swim for me. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful sunny day, too. Oh, my oh, gosh. Right. Well, thank you for calling us, Fu. You're our first caller. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm proud to be, especially as a board member. Yes, yes. Absolutely, you're, yeah. absolutely. Fu, Fu, is, Fu was really a support system for me. One of the people that, like Bob, and you're both of you now, that I could call when I, I'm a little razzled. You know, like, mm. Fu, I can't believe you're like, <laughs> He goes, okay, Renee, relax. <laughs> Fu, Back I don't, up and regroup. <laughs> I don't flip out much, do I? No. <laughs> <laughs> not, not anymore, right? oh, but in between all the mania there, you do a great job. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, I just wanted to thank you and applaud your work. Oh, thank you, Phil. Absolutely. You're a dear. I miss you. <laughs> you got it. You're coming home in May, right? I, I am coming back in May. Yep. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna be having a board meeting when you come back. Terrific. Okay. Okay. We we do you want to stay on the line for two seconds while Bob talks about his. His, um, his uh, what is it called? It's bionics. It's a bionic leg for stroke survivors. Bio yeah. Did you, did you ever hear that? Absolutely. I'll wait. Sure. Okay. Did you ever hear of that, Foo, the bionic leg for stroke survivors? Well, I, I remember Steve Austin, the uh, $6 million man who had bionic legs. <laughs> That's about it, Foo. Yeah. That is it. That is it. Absolutely. Yes. That's yes, it. it is. That figures you would go in that direction since you're a, a, a famous actor. <laughs> You're a revere. What do I call you? Revere actor, or I think I revered. Well, I, I, good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you take that, right? <laughs> that's that's good. Good. Wait, 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 wait! I take that back. What does that mean? What was revered? Uh, revered is uh, respected. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Yes. Respected. Yes. Respected. Yeah. It's awesome. Thank you. Phil, so you've been working for how many years in the in the in the acting industry? industry? Uh, as a matter of fact, next month will be 31 years I'm in the industry. Wow. Right. Ooh. And how many the movies? Class. And and how many movies have you been in? Well, that's a good question. I stopped counting at about uh, 200. Uh, m mostly TV. Not. Uh, I've done maybe about 20, 25 movies, but a lot, a lot of TV. What was the big movie you were in with the boxers? Uh, Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe. Cinderella Man. Wow. Oh, yeah, he oh was man. the he was the ref, right? You were the ref. Yeah, and the big fight at the end of the movie. Yep. Yes. Johnny yes. McAvoy. Yes. Oh, and by the way, before we let Bob talk, I know you're working on something that is really, 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 really awesome. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the, yes. The, um, I've been, for the last year now, I've been uh, directing a documentary along with my uh, producing buddy, Darren Antola, who's also from New Jersey, from uh, Kenilworth. And um, it's called 350 Days, and it's about professional wrestling back in the 1980s when they used to have territories and uh, life on the road, and it's just tremendous. Well, we've interviewed over uh, 30 of like the most famous wrestlers from those days, and you know, trying to catch up with them and talk about uh, what their life is like now after uh, all these years, and the highs and lows, the success, the tragedies, and 
Uh, it's just it's been incredibly uh, received. We we just started an Indiegogo campaign, trying to uh, raise some funds to finish it. I've got awesome. about three, four more days of shooting, and uh, then we're going to try to get it out to the film festivals and into the theaters. And I'll where see it, it? I'll see it. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> I I saw the clip. I saw the clip. It's it's really awesome. It's Thank it you. really it's really. You have is Dusty Rhodes in there? I I think I. No, uh, Dusty wasn't one of the ones we've got, but we've got people like uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, we've got the uh, Million Dollar Man, uh, Ted DiBiase, we've got wow. uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine, wow. Wow. Uh, Tito Santana, who's a New Jersey resident, uh, George the Animal Steel, uh, oh my God, uh, Ox Baker from the 60s, Don Leo Jonathan, um, uh, Lex Luger, Lanny Poffo, wow. uh, Wendy Richter. That's uh, awesome, folks. Uh, I mean, the, the list is, is, well, it is yeah. endless because yeah. we couldn't film everybody, yeah. but we, we've got so many people, and on top of that, we've, we've interviewed fans, uh, family wow. members, uh, wrestling promoters. I mean, it's really a well-rounded documentary. Wow. Fu, um, we, we, we are short on time, but I wanted to ask you, if someone <laughs> wants to um, view it, where do they go? Uh, they go to Indiegogo, and they uh, type in 350 days. So Indiegogo, 350 days. Yeah, Indiegogo.com, and okay. um, that's a, it's a crowdsourcing uh, site like Kickstarter, and uh, you just type in 350 days, they can see the promo, the sizzle reel, pictures. Uh, we offer so many different perks, um, from $10, I believe, to $10,000. Wow. Um, and uh, we also have a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, That's 350 good. days. Uh, we have a Twitter account at 350 days. So we're really we're we're out there now. That's good, Fu. I'm really happy. I'm Thank really you. happy. And if they if they if they, we're we're gonna, yes we're gonna <laughs> we're what lovely talking to you because I haven't spoken to you. But um, we're gonna we're gonna um, if you want to stay on the line, you can certainly stay on the line till we go to break. Which in, in join in the conversation if you don't mind. Sure, no. Okay. I'd, I'd, let's talk about the fascia too. Yes, yes. So Bob is going to share with us about this bionic leg, <coughs> like a okay. hundred thousand million dollar man. That's terrific. <laughs> it's, it's a device. Uh, I'll, I'll be here waiting for you. Okay. Okay. Tibian manufactures it. It's a device that stroke survivors can wear. It's a California company right now. I'm sure it's going to be manufactured by many companies. What it does, uh, the stroke survivor gets fitted with the device. It doesn't make them walk, but what it, it has sensors in all parts of the, the leg that sense the muscles and the chemical or the electrical reaction to the brain. Right. And if you're not using that muscle, and a lot of stroke survivors cannot walk because they're impaired, it picks up that sense and sends it to the brain and I, retrains the I, brain. I think I saw, and don't quote me on this because I'm not sure, but I saw in the Katie show something like this. Oh. Something like this. There was, there was, there was people that couldn't walk. They were, they were, um, they were um, impaired. Impaired. They yes. couldn't walk, right. and they put, they put this on, and they could walk. Now they couldn't walk, like they. It, that's not something that they could put on for like a long time. It no. was only for three or four hours a day. Right. It, it retrains the brain, if you will. They can't wear it for the rest of their lives, but it was, it's a device that will retrain the brain on right. what you're not right. using in your leg, which is phenomenal. Right, right. Phenomenal. Now, I, I, know, I know we spoke, and um, of course, our telethon, which we're going to have a telethon update in a few minutes. We're going to go to a break, and then we're going to go to um, talk about the telethon, and I'm going to sing a few songs. Um, but I believe that, the, that the, from the telethon, Oh, yeah, we could, in, a, in two seconds, we could do the video. I'll let you know. Um, and, but the money is going to my, the, I got to regroup. This is what happens with, with. Uh, yes, what? it does. <laughs> Joe, Joe and I were talking before and we're like, we get so excited about things that sometimes our brains just race. And so, but, but the general population, you need to, okay, so let me take a step back and let me explain. For, from our telethon, a portion of the proceeds will go, one-third will go to my foundation, Renee Marie's Language of Love, one-third will go to the National Stroke Association, and the other third is going to Judy's Run. Now, is this what the designated money will go towards? Or? I, would, I would love to have it. I would love to purchase or loan the device. I intend to call them. I want to reach out to them in California and have them come 
to the hospital so we can do a demonstration. Well, how they, they could do it here. Yeah. They could do it on my show. Absolutely. They, they could do they, it on my show. Yeah, they get some more airtime. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, can we run that? That, that why don't we run that um, uh, PR telethon? Phil, are you watching this online? Yes, I am. Uh, the only thing is, it's um, it's like a little delayed, so I can't um, I can't really make out what you're saying okay. at the time, but I kind of catch up. Okay. So why don't we run the telethon, the uh, PR on the and uh, Karen uh, did a, a little PR for us. She's my uh, press agent for my Language of Love Foundation. Go. Hi, my name is Karen Stogner. I'm a stroke survivor and I'm a board member of Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. I hope that you join us this year for this remarkable journey towards our telethon that's being held March 29th, 2015. Um, I want to give you a couple of updates about the telethon, what we've done so far. We've sent out press releases to the major television stations, radio stations. We're on the social media, of course, and we're in print release. We've also reached out to Grammy artists such as Randy Travis, who has suffered a stroke recently. If you want some more information, please check out our two websites, www.ReneeMarieStrokeOfLuck.com. Dot com or www.ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. Go to these two websites at any time. We'll be posting um, updates periodically or for any information about the telethon or just about the foundation in general. Be sure and check back here bi-weekly for any updates. We hope to see you and I'm looking forward to giving you periodic updates. Thank you. Have a good couple of weeks. Okay, uh, we'll be right back after these words. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patients' cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to pr improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you.
Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act One Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act One will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act One Entertainment.net for a free, no obligation price quote or call 631 758 3505 for a brochure. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. I'm going to sing, um, could I have this dance? Because music is the language of love. Here we go. Everybody could sway in their chairs. Come on, I want to see everybody swaying. I'll always remember that magical moment when I held you close. To me, as we moved here together, I knew forever you're all I'll ever need. Let's go. Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? Would you all be my partners every night when we're together? It feels so right. Could I have a stand for the rest of my life? I'll always. When I held you close to me As we moved here together I knew forever You're all I'll ever need Let's go everyone, join in Could I have this dance for the rest of my life Would you all be my partners Every night When we're together It feels so right Could I have this dance For the rest of my life One more time Let's go, everyone. Let's go. Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? Would you all be my partners every night? When we're together, it feels so right. Here we go. Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Come on up, everyone, because we only have a few more minutes, and we really want to do... We really want to um, talk a little bit about the telethon. Come on up. Hello. Which one's on? Is that Mike? That's one. Okay. So this is my 
logo was made by a wonderful artist, Michael, um, who actually is my tenant, and I was talking to him about wanting um, a logo, and he whipped this together. It's perfect, right? It's excellent. excellent. It's perfect. Excellent. So, um, and the Stroke Association. And? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. And um, so, just so you know, we're really going to be pushing from this moment forward. Right after Bob's, um, Judy's run, we didn't want to bother Bob too much, but Joe and myself and Bob and Fulvio and everybody and Tommy, Madhouse TV really was pushing, pushing to make it happen. So um, we hope that you'll join us on this journey because every week it's going to be a journey and um, we're going to go out singing uh, That's What Friends Are For because that's kind of our theme song, you know, like not theme so much, but you know, the words are absolutely perfect and we always end the kisses. So bring it on. Let's rock and roll. And thank you so much to Bob. I, I know, I know it was, I know it was a, I know it was a, a, a struggle for you to get here. And Joe, you're part of our team. Let's go. I'll give Bobby a kiss later on. And I never thought I'd feel this way. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm glad I got the chance to say, here we go, that I do believe I love you. And if you should ever go away, well, then close your eyes and try to feel the way we do today. And then if you can remember, here we go. Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. We're going to say goodbye because I believe we're close. And here we go. more I see and so by the way I thank you and for the time for the times when we're apart well then know the word the words are coming from my heart and then if you can remember here we go everyone keep smiling Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. Let's go around blow kisses. Let's go. Ready? Oh. All right. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. And thank you so much. God bless. And we love all of you. Have a stroke of luck in your life. Thank you.